take congratulations are in order as Fireboy's first album, Laughter, Tears, and Goosebumps, hits 100 million streams in 46 days. This level of progress is unprecedented in the history of music business in Nigeria and for a new entrance. What do you guys think? I'm very happy about this because um, this album, I'm not tired of listening to it. Mm -hmm. It's like two months old. Like every time it's like it's the first time so it's a very good album a lot of creativity went into that a lot of work went into creating this album as, as well because you can actually tell it has content mm -hmm. it's not just your regular album that you just i think the only song that even scatter still has content you mm. get it's not your regular party jam and all of that that doesn't make any and he had sense. like no feature yeah yeah no feature and um i think this guy is a raw talent and then have you seen him do the acoustic version mm. of the songs like you can actually tell that it's not the production that is actually making him sound good he, mm -hmm. he actually sounds good he's a raw talent so big shout out to fireboy and yeah we're still your biggest fans honestly let me say i'm not surprised because <laughs> myself i can't I can't even count how many times I've streamed that album. Like mm -hmm. every single time, there's mm -hmm. no bad song. The last time I had like a very good album like this was when um, Kizania dropped his was it New Era then? And it was like no bad song too. And it was even New Era from. had some songs you skip, but I don't think there's any okay for you. Yet. But for me, I wouldn't skip oh, any yeah. song. <laughs> but this album, I mean, I feel like it deserves this. And mm -hmm. if you put out good music, people mm -hmm. will appreciate it. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, joining us to discuss this success and the opportunity is available for emerging artists online is a music executive and a digital music director mr karim bolaji okay so as a key player in the industry distribution business what lessons would you expect emerging artists in nigeria and africa to pick from fireboy and ybnl well thank you very much Elsie. the first thing is success is not given you have to work for it and you can't just be working. You have to be very, very calculative. You have to understand what your competition are doing and how you can do yours better and differently. So for me, what I try to do when I tend to work with artists is to actually like sit down to understand their music once I understand your music and the direction where the record label or the artist is moving, it makes things a bit easier for me to work with them. And I'm um, of the opinion that most of the Imagine and Join artists should have an audio map page, an audio map channel. Um, the era of taking your songs to blogs so people can listen to, yes, it's very nice. But the fact is, when all these labels start coming to have interest in you to get signed, you wouldn't be able to collect your data by putting your songs everywhere scattered. But in case where you have an audio mark, where if I want to sign you, I can say, okay, you are putting out social and social record. After 20 days, the record has done maybe 250,000 streams by a Nigerian artist. You know, I'm going to see you defending that with no help and with um, with resources that are very, very, very low, could still do it by yourself. So definitely, 250,000 people cannot be stupid. You must, there must be an element in your song that keeps people on their toes to listen to you. So that part of their music is something that I advise everybody, don't joke with your YouTube when you're starting and your audio man. Even if they are free platforms, yes, they could be free platforms, but that's the easiest way for you to showcase your talent. Okay, how large are the opportunities available online for emerging artists and has going digital reduced the amount of finance needed to make a successful artist? Mm, no. Um, okay, let me start from our like the opportunities available online. Yes, we have a lot of opportunities online. Let me give an example. <clears throat> um, do you understand that it's easy for an African artist that comes from East Africa to have a million views faster than a Nigerian artist to get 200,000 views? One, internet. While we struggle about, um, with internet in Nigeria, the, how expensive it is, it is very cheap for them at East Africa 
That's why it's easy for you to see a diamond drop a song in two days, you see two million and stuff like that. And you see our own artists here in Nigeria still struggling to reach one million. But let me be honest with you. I'd rather have a one million streamed reality in Nigeria than have a six million streams of East Africa because we still make more money here when people stream our music from here. So sometimes those numbers, when you equate it to money, it's not the same. So for an emerging artist in a field where you feel that, okay, this thing is where uh, there's a lot of opportunity, the first thing I keep telling them is, please don't run after the money. Build your numbers. When the numbers are built, money will come. There are five major ways to actually make money in the music industry. Performance, endorsement, your um, digital. And the one I actually face and actually understudy every day of my life is the digital because that's, that, that's your retirement plan. You are not going to be hot forever. Shout out to certain artists that still get money from the work they've done in the last 10 years. You can't tell me Tosi Martins isn't making money from Olumi. You can't tell me, like, a lot of people, um, see why they low. The land is green. So content is very key. You can't tell me Star Plus is not even still relevant because most of us have them on our phones, even if they are, like, even if they are old things. So the first thing is that your content be right. Make evergreen songs. If your songs are evergreen, digitally, you will still be relevant. And your second question, has the going digital reduced the amount of finance? Yes. Index? No, it hasn't. Because to get money, you actually need to use money to find money. An example is this. I'm a new artist. I want people to know me. I have to put my content out there. I have to shoot a video. If I shoot a video, I have to market the video. I have to go to the radio station. But I think where the mistake is, is not every artist that comes into the industry can break out digitally just like that. Mm. It takes two to three years. You are only lucky enough if there is already a structured label for you that understands the game. Mm. You say the team as YBNL did differently with Fireboy, though. Okay. Um, the first thing is this. We thank God for Fireboy's talent. We thank God for his talent because the dude is just a bundle of talent. And for us at YBNL, I'm saying us this time around, it's not about who takes the girl, just want to work. And um, he has a record label of us that have actually had albums every year. So by 2019, we just sat down and said, what are we doing differently this year? And he, we, he actually said, I would rather face Fireboy's project to make sure it's well executively produced. And he channeled all his energy. Shout out to everybody. And as well, producers, one thing is this. Nigerian music industry will be way better if we take care of producers the way they help the artists grow. It shouldn't be all about the artists. For us at YBNL, producers that work with YBNL would never want to leave YBNL because there's always a structure that doesn't just protect the artist alone. And you don't need to sign anything with YBNL to say, yeah, YBNL producer, anything. You are taking care of. As far as the artist is growing, you're also growing. So when I know monthly, if it is coming to the artist, it is also coming to me. Am I not going to put my best in? So we are structured to understand that it's not about the artist, it's all about everybody, including me speaking. As far as everybody has a quarter of it, music is a chain. So it's not 90% centered on the artist, 10% centered on no. The record label boss has actually structured it such that everybody's happy. And if everybody on the team is happy, success is very close.